I would like us to look at two words in the Bible. The first word is the word Christian. And the other word is the word disciple. Do you know that the word Christian is only written three times in the whole Bible? And Jesus never used this word. The first time we actually see the word Christian being used is 11 years after Jesus was here on earth. We read that in book of Acts 11 verse 26. And the disciples was called Christian first in Antioch. So it was in Antioch the disciples first time was called Christian. And that was 11 years after Jesus was on earth. So the word Christian is only written three times in the whole Bible. But the word disciple is written over 250 times. Maybe we should stop using the word Christian like Jesus never used the word Christian. Why? Because it's a word that has been so misunderstood today. Maybe you have heard people say like this, I am a Christian, but I really don't live it. Or I'm a Christian in my own way. Or I'm a Christian because I go to church and try to live a good life. I've heard many people say like that. But try to say like this. I am a disciple of Jesus, but I really don't live it. Or I'm a disciple of Jesus in my own way. I'm a disciple of Jesus because I go to church and try to live a good life. Or say, I'm a disciple of Jesus in my own way. It, it sounds wrong. It, it, it don't make sense because we know that to be a disciple of Jesus is to follow him. You cannot. You don't become a disciple of Jesus because you go to church and try to live a good life. And you cannot be a disciple of Jesus in your own way. So Jesus never used the word Christian. And maybe we should stop using it because it's a word that has been so misunderstood today. But if you look at the word disciple, what do that actually mean today? Today the word disciple is a word we only use in the churches. You don't, if you go out on the street today and say, hey, hi, I'm a disciple, they will look at you and say, what? What are you? But at the time of, of Jesus, the word disciple was a very common word. Jesus had disciples, John the Baptist had disciples, the Pharisees had disciples, Moses had disciples. There was different people who had disciples. So the word at the time of Jesus was a very common word and people knew what it meant. So if we should try to use another word, instead of disciples today who explain what it really is about. Then, the word disciple is like a apprentice. Discipleship is like a apprenticeship. Let me explain. Many years ago, I started a apprenticeship as a baker in a bakery. Or well, let's say it like that, I started a discipleship as a baker in a bakery. Because apprentice and disciple is somehow the same word. And here you can see a picture. And it could actually be me on this picture who was standing working in the bakery. But this is not me. But I started a apprenticeship or discipleship many years ago as a baker. When I started in the bakery as a princess, as a baker, I actually did not know anything about making cakes or doing all of those things. I didn't know anything about it. But I came in and there he was, my master. And my master, who was the baker, he was there to train me. He was there to show me so I could learn and do the same as him. And I actually learned to bake bread. I learned to make cakes. I learned to make wedding cakes. And I became better and better and better. And I started to look more and more and more like my master. And yes, it was very hard in the beginning to learn to bake bread and all of that. Because it was new. Everything was new for me. I've never done it before. 
And there was times in the beginning I thought, I- I'm never going to learn this. Like, this is too, this is not easy because there was a lot of new information all the time. But I learned. And after a short time, I became better and better and better. And in the end, I was almost like my master. Of course, he was always better than me, a little or more sometimes, and faster than me. But in that period of discipleship, those three and a half years I was there, in this period of discipleship or apprenticeship as a baker, I learned and I became so much better. I also make many, many, many mistakes. And, uh, but you know what? That is somehow part of the job. And my master, he knew that when he took me in because every apprentice before me have also made mistakes. That is part of learning. I say it like this, it's okay to make mistakes, but it's not okay if you don't try. So um, now you and me are not apprentices in a bakery. We are apprentices at Jesus. We are his disciples. And the same way I said yes to an apprenticeship as a baker, in the same way somehow we now say yes to an apprenticeship with Jesus. We start to follow him. Where we are going to learn to live like him. Where we are going to grow daily or weekly and become more and more and more and more like our master every day. And this is what Jesus is saying in Luke 640, where Jesus is saying this, a disciple or a princess is not above his master, but everyone who is fully trained shall be like his master. Try to imagine that I was working as a baker or working as an apprentice in a bakery, but after three and a half years in my apprenticeship, I have still not learned to make cakes. So if the case was that I, after three years, have not learned and was only looking at him do it or look at some of the other people doing it, there was something wrong. There was something wrong with that workplace. There was something wrong with the apprenticeship. There was something wrong with my master, something wrong with me. Why? Because the whole reason I started my apprenticeship was after a few years to be like him, to be a real baker. I was not a princess anymore. I was a baker and I was supposed to learn to do like him. In the same way, I want to say that there is something wrong if you have been a Christian or disciple or a princess and after 10 and 20 years still don't know how to do what Jesus called you to do. Then there is something wrong with where you are. There is something wrong with you. We are called to be like Jesus. We are called to walk like him, to speak like him, to be led by the Holy Spirit like him, to heal the sick and cast out demons like him, to serve like him, to love like him. And the list just go on and on. So there's something wrong if you have been a disciple or Christian for 10, 20 years and have still not learned how to do what Jesus called you to do. But don't worry. We are here to help you. I'm here to help you. The reason we are doing these seven lessons is to help you on your way. To help you to start not only believing Jesus, but start Live with him. To live as an apprentice of Jesus. To live as a disciple. We are here to help you to get, so you can write your own diary and your diary will look like what we read in the book of Acts. So we are here to help you to learn to live the life Jesus has for you. But you need to be willing to obey. We cannot obey for you That is something you need to do. We can give you teaching. We can give you training. But you need to obey it. You need to step out and start living it. 